But open-endedness is a different kind of learning, and I want to tell you about open-endedness because I think it would be really exciting if we could build open-ended algorithms. And open-endedness is not how to learn something, like how to learn how to do some particular task. It's rather, it's really, you can think of it as how to learn everything. So for example, like a human playing a video game is interesting, and you know, we've seen like deep reinforcement learning algorithms playing Atari, and that's interesting. But like if you think about something like the history of all of human invention, now that is beyond interesting. And that is, in some sense, an algorithmic process, a process that continually increases in diversity and complexity without bound virtually forever. And in fact, there are a number of different kinds of open-ended processes that we can observe in nature. There's the process of human innovation, which I'm alluding to, but also like natural evolution, for example, which is not human-driven. That's also an open-ended process. It's the ongoing creation of all the diversity of life on Earth. Um, and so this is quite an impressive process. So if you think about open-ended processes, they're not about like a single positive result. It's really not about any particular result at all. It's really about surprise, like an ongoing cacophony of surprises, like if you think of all of the history of invention over time. And what's interesting when you think about this, like if you look at the picture like this and you say, well, look at all this stuff. This took a lot of intelligence. But it's interesting to consider you don't have to have human-level intelligence to do this. And Yet, you may need to have this kind of an algorithm to get human-level intelligence. So what do I mean by that? How can you have open-endedness without solving the problem of human-level of AI? Well, look at this. I mean, this thing here is not from human intelligence or human engineering. This is the tree of life. And this is a single run, so to speak, of an algorithm called evolution, which generated all of life on Earth. So this is quite incredible, without any kind of human intelligence behind it. And yet, here, look, like right here, this one little moment in this endless saga is human-level intelligence. Actually, a, a process that was open-ended produced, is the only example ever to produce intelligence at the human level, among many, many other things. So the process itself is, is a process of endless surprises. We can't really predict where it's going to be going in the future. And we couldn't have predicted where it has been. And look at the kinds of things that it produces along the way. Like it invented all these things. Like it invented photosynthesis. It invented the flight of birds. It invented, of course, intelligence itself, all in one single run. So it just can't be understated just how amazing this kind of process is. And so you might call it something like a never-ending algorithm, because like it's been going for like a billion years or more, um, and it's not stopping. And that's close to, maybe as close as we could come to something we might call never-ending. And it's called open-ended evolution. So it's not like what you, some of you might have heard of like an evolutionary algorithm, where that's sort of more like what we see in typical machine learning where we say, we've got a problem, we want to solve it, let's try to evolve a solution for it. This is not trying to find a particular solution to any particular thing. This is just finding endless things. And it basically, you could come back a billion years later and still be surprised at what it's creating.